So we've just finished filling in a form. And because we always read the terms and conditions, we attempt to do so before submitting. But instead of opening the terms in a new tab, it's redirected us entirely. And so when we go back, our inputs are no longer populated and we're not a very happy user. Fortunately for your users, Svelkit released an update last week that adds a feature to solve this exact problem called snapshots. A snapshot is a way to preserve ephemeral DOM state. And if you're like me and didn't pay too much attention in English class, ephemeral means lasting for a very short period of time. So this should not be viewed as some sort of long-term state store or anything like that. And in the case of our form here, here, the ephemeral DOM state we want to preserve are those input values. So looking at the current code, we just have a few inputs with some basic styles to make them look half decent. And if we want to take advantage of snapshots, we need a way to identify which data we're going to preserve. So what we'll do in this example is just to find a new object. We'll call it form data, but the name doesn't really matter. And then we can use the input names as the properties with empty strings as those default values. The next thing we can do is bind the value of each of these inputs to its respective property within our object. So for first name, we can say bind value form data dot first name. And I'll just repeat that same thing for all these inputs. The next thing we have to do is export the snapshot object, which is of type snapshot. And the snapshot object has two different methods, capture and restore. As I'm sure you've already guessed, capture is responsible for capturing the data that you wish to store. So whatever this method returns will be stored in our snapshot. Now this data must be serializable as JSON because it will be stored inside of session storage, which we will look at in just a second. In our case, we just wanna capture our form data objects. So we can simply return that here. And then restore is responsible for, you guessed it, restoring the data. So store receives the snapshots data, right? So whatever we capture in the previous snapshot is going to be here as this value. So on restore, we can point our form data variable to this, which would then populate all these inputs here with their previous values held inside of this snapshot. Now let's test this out by filling out the form and then clicking on the terms and conditions link again. Now, if we go back, we can see our state was preserved. So right now, as we navigate back and forth, the snapshot is in memory. But if we were to refresh the page and then check our session storage of our browser, we can see this felt kit snapshot key here with our data as the value. And if I delete this and then navigate to terms and conditions again and refresh the page, you'll see that our data has once again been populated. So when we go back, our data is still there. So now when I submit this form to a dummy endpoint, the data is cleared and going back and forth doesn't do anything as a snapshot's current state is a bunch of empty strings because we reset the form on submit, right? And this same idea could really be applied to any ephemeral state that you wanna capture and restore on a backwards navigation. It doesn't necessarily have to be a form. So I think it's a really cool feature that I didn't really realize that I was missing until now and I plan on using it everywhere I can. So that's gonna include this video on the new snapshot feature in Svelkit. I know it's been brief, but if you got value to this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would drop a like. And as always, I will see you in the next one.